everyone, I'm Raindrops. If you are new, welcome to my channel. And if you are already one of my drops, welcome back. Um, today's video, as you can tell by the title, I am going to be trying to revert my curls um, back from being straight. I straightened my hair a couple of weeks ago and this, this video is kind of all over the place, sort of. Um, I'm trying to do that, but I want to color my hair and because it's a permanent color, there's no need for me to wash my hair first and then color it. You are supposed to go ahead and put it in a state of unclean hair, basically, um, because you will be washing it afterwards. So hopefully when I apply it, um, because it's wet, a liquid, it will start to revert my hair back into its curly state. Now, like I said, it's been a couple of weeks. Um, you can start to see the waves, which is indicating to me that my curls will, you know, pop back. Hopefully, um, I can pretty much tell that probably at the roots, um, the ends is what I'm worried about. Now, I had not straightened my hair in a year and a half since I shaved my head um, that time ago. And... I wanted to straighten it to do a length check and to trim my ends and I did that a couple of videos back. So yeah, I'm gonna I'm ready to wash my hair now and see if those curls pop back. So in the video as well, I am going to be trying a new product to me. Um I've seen it for years floating around, watched several videos on it, but never bought it and I did get it is the extreme wet line styling gel I got that uh, a few days ago I put it in my four-year-old's hair I will insert pictures it came out beautiful it had plenty of hole I know it does not have the best ingredients but the it was three dollars from Target and yeah I'm going to wait a minute I'm going to okay go ahead every video so I'm going to go ahead and uh, try it in my hair and see what happens. So we are going to color my hair with the Clairol Textures and Tones 1B Silk and Black. Um, then we are going to go ahead and try out the uh, Extreme Wet Line Gel. So if you guys like to see how this turns out, please watch.
Okay, first off, I know you guys just saw this and I want to just say how irritated, frustrated, I'm hurt, I'm upset. Yes, it's hair, it will grow back, but I just did this last, a year and a half ago, and I didn't want to go through it again. This brings me to a whole totally different path now on what I wanted to show you guys, and I know I said I would mention it in a you know, future video, but I had no intentions. Sorry about that. I had no intentions on talking about it now. So, about six years ago, um, some of you guys know that I was in a car accident. And I don't talk about it because it's, I was still mad about it, very frustrated. And in that accident, I developed conditions that are incurable, are lifelong conditions, and won't change. And some people are able to take medication. Some people cannot. I am one of those persons that medication does not work for. It either has an adverse effect, reaction, or a side effect, or it just doesn't work at all. And so I just live through my pain every day. So yeah, I, I just live through my pain every day. Um, I never really show it. Um, I might show pictures in this video, but from the accident, I end up developing fibromyalgia. Um, fibromyalgia is overactive nerves. Um, I always have pain every day, all day. It does not let up. Um, I rarely leave the house because it hurts for me to ride in vehicles, to go anywhere, to do anything. Family events, just me having fun or me just being a regular person, just going to the store. It bothers me, so I pretty much don't do it. I stay in the house a lot. Second off, we were fig trying to figure out why my pelvic area, my entire back area, um, my buttocks and everything, it all has swollen tissue. Um, last year, I was diagnosed because we didn't know why I was having so much pain in my hips. Um, it turns out that I have bursitis um, in my hips. And then the swelling all comes from something called complex regional pain syndrome. Now, when I got told this back in July, I was very frustrated to hear that it's incurable. It's nothing really they can do about it. Um, it mainly affects people in their hands, legs, their arms, um, feet. But mine has affected my back, my buttocks, and my pelvic area. So, when I looked it up, um, I noticed a couple of um, issues that people have while having this. And I mentioned it in a few videos back on how my hair texture had changed and my curl pattern. And it was because of complex regional syndrome. Um, if you go back and look at old videos from a couple of years ago and even four years ago when I big chopped the first time for YouTube, you will see um, that I, my patterns look like it was 3A, uh, 3C, 4A. Now it totally looks like it's 4A if you look at the last video I did with the wash and go with the unjackies. Um, I had a lot of curls. So I figured if I straightened my hair, it wouldn't be an issue because I hadn't done so. It grew back in from me shaving it. And now, this is the crazy part. Not only does it affect your hair, it can affect your nails and change your nails. And if you guys go back and you'll see um, my very first video, I was pregnant. I had just done the Big Chop. And I had a real popular YouTuber uh, comment on how long my nails were. Um, since this accident, my nails will grow, but they will grow here. They will get a little longer than this, and then they will break. And this has been going on since I had the condition. So I'm very frustrated, and I just saw... Um, a video of a young lady, a YouTuber, her name is Hannah Musette, and she has very, very thick curly hair, 4A, 4B. Um, I think she is biracial, um, but she just did the same thing. She straightened her hair for the first time, and then when she went to wash it, she had heat damage. Now, you guys saw, this was two weeks ago, I straightened my hair, I used heat protectant, and that was it. Um, I did not flat iron it anymore after that. In order to not flat iron it, I pin curled it the two nights that I had it in. 
um, and my ends were frizzy as to why I put the feed in braids, the, the two Dutch braids in. And I had not put any more heat in my hair. And I, I feel like she did. It's like, I want to cry, but I'm more so frustrated than anything. I'm because I'm I'm blown that a condition can do this to your body, can stop your nails from growing, can turn your hair into a totally completely different hair texture, uh hair pattern, density, porosity, everything and I have no, and, and I know that it wasn't the temperature because I have flat, flat ironed my hair before on that temperature and nothing happened and went directly back. As a matter of fact, I could never get my hair into anything past two days because my hair will revert at the least little bit of humidity, moisture, it would start to revert back. So I don't understand. I'm just so upset and frustrated and I already knew that it was changing because like I said, I noticed the, the, the texture and the pattern and then it, my hair isn't thick as it used to be. It's like I had thin hair and I'm like, I, I don't. When I bleached my hair a year ago, um, I bleached it when I first shaved it and three months, four months in, I stopped bleaching it and just let the hair grow directly out so I don't have any bleach other than what you guys just saw me color my hair in the, in the box color but I hadn't had any bleach I hadn't straightened it I hadn't been taking care of it it was really really curly it just was springing back so I just oh this is not the video that I wanted to do I'm trying to see how I can like as you can see this is still curling and curling up. I, you guys saw I did a couple of passes in my hair very slowly, only at the roots. And then I went back over it to just bump it and give it some curls so I would be able to pin curl it. And that's all I did. So maybe this is information for some of you guys um, who may be going through anything similar to what I'm going through, medications, um, certain conditions will change your body, your hair, and uh, I do not want to cut my hair again. I, I just, I don't want to cut it again. I have no clue on what to do now. Um, I guess there's really no need in me showing you guys the wash and go because I have no, literally no clue how that would turn out. I, it's like, and you can see it's drying quick. All I did was um, put the t-shirt on it and it's like for all this, I might as well have bleached my hair or Uh, well, I'm sorry I have to bring this video to an end like this, um, but I'm only going to get frustrated and more hurt just looking at this shit. Um, so, yeah, I got to end this video and hopefully I will see you guys in the next. So I did get upset. I did cry because I'm very, very hurt. Um, I just talked to my youngest niece and my husband and they both were suggesting the same thing that why don't I just, you know, keep my hair braided up and till it grows out and see what happens. But I can't do that. I my hair is is like really thin now because of my condition and I'm like trying to 
find a like a curl or anything to see where I can at least chop it off and, and start from there. I can't even fathom putting in products for no reason and it still doesn't curl. So I'm just trying to wait for it to finish drying to see if I see some type of curl pattern and to see where I can cut it at or if I'm going to just have to shave it all off again. And I for sure didn't want to do that, but... Man, this is so fucked up. This is so... Like, I really... What I'm really upset about is... I'm going through enough as is that you guys just don't know. I suffer from depression. Um, I see a therapist. I deal with this pain that I go through, like I said, every day. So... I'm trying to learn to move on from the accident, but it's it's difficult to do so knowing that activities in your life, things that the condition is affecting, like it's literally affecting my hair growth, my hormones, it's just so... I'm so frustrated because I just, like, I can't even, I have some waves here as you guys can see, and then, I am, if I was high right now, and I need to be, like, I literally need to be, but if I was high right now, it'll be so blown, like, I'm seeing half-ass curls here, this is straight. As you can see, my hair is, is drying. And then, like, I'm really getting nothing on this side. I, there's no way I can work with this. There's no way that, like, am I supposed to do rods? And I, I'm not used to this. This is not what I wanted it to go through. Uh... down to there I didn't want to shave my head completely so I'm just gonna get in the shower again um, wash all of this loose hair off my body and out of my hair style it and um, I'll come back and let you guys see and I really don't want you guys to think like oh my god she's crying because her hair is gone 
I've cut my hair several times. This is the fourth big chop now for YouTube. But before YouTube, I was wearing my hair short like this all the time. My hair would get really long. I would cut it off. That wasn't the issue. The issue is of doing something that you don't want to do. It's like, I can't remember who said it. It's, it's like if you went to your job and you got fired, you would be upset. But if you were at your job, you were tired of the bull that was going on, you found something better and you gave your two weeks notice and you quit, you would be okay because that was your decision. That's what you wanted to do. I was forced to do this. This is not what I wanted to do because I just did it a year and a half ago. And to know that something can take over your body so bad as to change it, like that's the problem. So it's uh, it's done with now. Like I said, I'm about to hop in the shower, get this loose hair out, and then I'll come back with the final results. Okay, everyone, this is my final results. And, um, I'm not upset, like I said, over the initial fact. Um, this is kind of hard to explain. I'm upset. I was upset because I was a year and a half worth of growth that I had no intentions of big chopping again. And now I had to. And now from here on forth out as my hair is growing back in, I don't know whether I can straighten my hair or not. Um, like I said, straightening my hair is really not my thing. I only did it for a length check and uh, to trim my ends. But the fact that I just flat ironed it that one time and that is what happened. So yeah, this is all of my hair. And um, my curls, I must say, are popping. Um, I do like the, that was my first time using the Wetline Extreme Gel. And I really do like it. Um, it's not you know, dry yet, um, but it came out really shiny and pretty. I haven't put any oils in it or anything, just the TGIN Daily Moisturizing Buttercream and the Extreme Wet Line Gel. So yeah, um, being, I, I don't wanna use the, the term sick, but having a, condition that you can't do anything about um i've been trying to get used to this whole disability disabled thing um for the last come december now it'll be six years since my accident so i've been just trying to get used to being a new me not being the old me not being able to do things that i wanted to do um like i can't even stand and sit more than 20 minutes without swelling up. Like my body is already swollen, but it swells up even more if I'm sitting for long periods of time. If I have to stand for long periods of time, which I don't do, um, it hurts when I lay down. Another thing that has happened, and it's also I have no slight neuropathy in my left leg and neuropathy is nerve damage. So uh, a few nights ago, I noticed that my feet were burning. Um, 
I do not have diabetes. Um, I was just tested for a lot of things. I do not have high blood pressure. So that looked that up again and under the condition that I have is complex regional pain syndrome. That is another um, symptom of the condition is neuropathy. So it's like, as time go past, I'm not getting better. Things, can y'all be quiet? Things are seeming to only, you know, get worse with the condition. So I have no clue what's gonna happen from here on out. Um, I'm just trying to, you know, deal with it and it is what it is, but I was not expecting a condition to just change my whole you know, insides, hair, nails, the swelling in my body. It's, uh, it's a bit much, but I've been dealing with this pain every day and getting through it for the last six years. So I'm going to continue to soldier through it. At least I'm living, I'm here. So on that note, we're gonna start Big Chop number four off and hopefully, Things just get better with my hair and, you know, don't change back or change any further what it has done. And, yeah, I will see you guys in my next video. Um, please comment, like, share, and I really do hope you guys subscribe. So, until the next video, peace.